Hi guys, welcome back. You might be familiar with this guy, the all new Samsung Galaxy A50. I have unboxed it a week back and now I am using it as my primary device and I have to say that I really like this device. It's the best Galaxy A series phone that I have used period. Well, I will be letting you guys know everything about the device in my detailed review which will be coming soon but in the meantime, let's take the new software update that this phone received. It's a big update with a size of 666 MB and in that update there is some new stuff added as well as some much needed improvements is done. So first let's check what was that much needed thing. Well it's the fingerprint unlock. This phone has an on screen fingerprint scanner and it was not a good one. One of the things that I didn't like about this device was the scanner. It was too slow and also around 30 to 40 percent of the time the scanner didn't recognize my finger. And also for it to properly work you really need to press the finger hard on the screen area where the scanner is set. And now with this new update, Samsung has improved the response time of fingerprint unlock. It's much better now. It's fast and also more reliable. It's still not comparable with the normal fingerprint scanner but compared to what it was before, it's so much better and usable. So that's a welcome thing in this new software update. The next thing is that they added some stuff especially to the camera app. So now when you switch to the front camera, there is actually two options you can toggle in which one is 68 degree angle of view which is a new setting and the other is the much wider angle which was the only setting available before. So now while taking a selfie, you can go for a close up shot if it's a single person or go for the much wider shot if there are multiple persons in the shot. Then they added some new live focus effects which you can toggle after taking a live focus shot which is basically a portrait shot. How it works is really simple. After you capture a live focus shot, just take that picture and here just click the change background effect and there you have three new options which are spin, zoom and color point. Out of these three, I like the color point effect. The next thing they added is something that I am not a fan of and it is now you get beauty mode in video for both the front camera as well as the rear camera. I have also noticed one cool animation thing which is while connecting the charger there is a sleek new animation showing the battery percent and the last new feature added is to Bixby. Now you get Bixby routines where there are preset routine settings which you can enable or you can even create your own routines. Then you also get the option to use the power button for activating Bixby. But I don't use Bixby, so these new features for Bixby is not so important for me. And when you check the update change log, it also states that there is an overall stability improvement as well as the security of the device is improved. And for security, you can actually see that the security patch level is now April 2019. While using the phone, I don't see much difference from what it was before. Everything is still smooth and works well. I even ran Geekbench and as you can see, there isn't much change now from what it was before. But overall, it's a good update considering they have improved one of the worst things of this phone which is the fingerprint scanner. And all these new features, even though not very exciting, are just some added bonuses and I'm really glad that Samsung is taking things seriously with their new A-series phones by updating it regularly. So I'm gonna end this video here and if you like this video, please do hit the like button and also please don't forget to subscribe because the review of this phone is coming soon in our channel. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye.